is a very great magic box for me because I have my granddaughters here and I want to share with you some of their special talents and magic and skills. The magic box. Have a look at this. Hi, I'm Mel. You're watching the magic box. Don't go anywhere. That's it. That was great. Hey, I'm John Carrington, and I'm here on the Magic Box with my special friend, Magic Nick. Magic Nick, I love your hat, man. Yes, sir. You really know how to wear the mantle of being a magician. It's uh, <laughs> felt like the Mad Hatter over here. <laughs> well, you certainly fit the bill here. You look like you're ready to do card tricks. Look like you're ready to have fun, and that's what we're gonna do here on the Magic Box. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> uh, that's great. USS Constellation. There's a grand lady in Baltimore who has taken her rightful place as the Inner Harbor's crown jewel in the heart of the Chesapeake Bay. The ship you see here, the Sloop of War Constellation, was built at the Gosport Navy Yard in Portsmouth, Virginia and launched in 1854. A newspaper account from the day of her launch reported that there were eight pieces of the original frigate Constellation contained within her timbers. Wow, Nick, that was great magic, man. In fact, you've inspired me to want to do a magic trick, and I'm going to share with you one of my favorites. Uh, this is a trick that requires one of those free newspapers you get out of the newspaper stand at Harbor Place, uh, right next to the USS Constellation. We're on the USS Constellation right now performing. This is one of those free papers. Nick, I want you to sign your name across the top for me. All right. All right, and that's just so we know that this is the paper that I got from the newspaper stand here next to the USS Constellation. And uh, this is one of my favorite tricks because what I get to do is to um, use ordinary to make the extraordinary happen. And this is one of my favorite things to do, do magic that requires <clears throat> reality people paying close attention to what's going on here. I like to think that in order to learn from a book or a newspaper, you must tear into it. <laughs> Tearing into it. Tearing into something means that you understand it in the most uh, minor, minute way. You just don't look at it superficially. You literally tear into the literature. You pull it apart. You make it yours. You don't just learn it. You absorb it. You make it part of you. You literally take it apart 
to figure out what makes it work. <laughs> you ever do that with a toy or a wristwatch? Uh, you take it apart, literally, literally take, take it apart piece by piece. And if you use your imagination, you can almost imagine, you can almost imagine that I am really, literally tearing, <coughs> tearing this paper. And, and, and as you, as you, as you tear, as you tear, you're not just building your ability to understand, but you're strengthening your body. And by strengthening your body, you're really making the most out of what you're doing. And by making the most out of something means that you not only use all the parts and pieces, but you make it, you make it, make it yours. Make it literally yours. Now on the count of three, I want everybody to say the special magic words, learn to read, read to learn. On three, ready? One, two, three. Learn to read, read to learn. Because when you read, you not just read words, you read the meaning of the words, and then you put it all back together again so that you end up with a concept, a whole idea, something that fits. Nick? That's your name? Mm -hmm. This is yours. Thank you. We'll be right back with more of the Magic Box. It's an experience that you never are going to get at most types of museums. So this is a really wonderful experience for them. And they have no idea what they're, what they're missing out on. And then they come on board and they keep coming back. We fire the cannon, turn the capstan, and ring the bell daily. And we recommend the free self-guided audio tour which comes in two flavors, one perfect for children, the other for adults. Plus, there's the ever popular Powder Monkey Tour for kids and hands-on adult tours like A Ship as a Machine and Black Sailors in Navy Blue. Groups can also come aboard and sling their hammocks in our overnight program or host special events. Our crew knows the USS Constellation is an amazing experience. Hi, my name is Sage and I'm going to read Harry Tubman. Harriet taught me didn't take no stuff, was scared of nothing either. Didn't come to this world to be no slave, it wasn't gonna stay one either. Farewell, she said to her friends one night, she was mighty sad to leave them. But she ran away that dark high night, looking for her freedom. She ran to the woods, she ran through the woods, and stayed up just behind her. But she kept going till she went north, the free man couldn't find her. And Nineteen times she ran back south to save three hundred others. But she ran for freedom, nineteen times to save back sisters and brothers. Harriet taught me didn't take no stuff, was scared of nothing either. Didn't come to this world to be no slave and didn't stay one either. And didn't stay one either. Hi everybody, I'm teaching Mr. Froggy Chinese and today he's going to sing you a song about congratulations. Ni hao. Mei de da de shao shang, mei gan de zui li, jian man di yi ju hua, gong xi gong xi gong xi, gong xi gong xi gong xi ni ya, gong xi gong xi gong xi ni. Our crew knows the USS Constellation is an amazing experience, but don't just take our word for it. Here's what recent visitors had to say. It's very kid-friendly, very family-oriented, and the kids will love it, and they'll come out asking questions, which I love. It transports you back. You can almost get the feel that you were actually there, because laying in that hammock, <laughs> like, oh my goodness. I think it's really interesting, because it shows you exactly how they slept, and how they ate, and how they went through life. It was an excellent, uh, excellent tour, and uh, I think it's something they, they need to maintain for a generation to come. Should be kind of a must for people who are in the area and have an hour or two to spend. And it's just amazing to see how what people lived in, how hard they worked in order to accomplish what they did. It brings your learning alive and that it helps you to understand. Like rather than looking to, at pictures, you can actually see what they were in and you can actually understand it. I think it makes me appreciate being an American, knowing these people went through these things to put me where I am now. I mean, I'd say come see it. Yeah, we were a little bit leery because of the age of our children, four and seven, but they enjoyed it so much. It really kind of surprised us. We thought it'd be more for us, the parents, but no, they, they loved it. <laughs> they had a good time. Yeah, they had a great time. You're watching the Magic Box. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
Forever. Forever. Welcome, Welcome to another show of Kids Forever. Our today's show is Duh. Pirates. See the hat. Mm -hmm. We'll have a fun show for you each week. We're all talented kids. I act. Did you ever wish your fairy godmother would suddenly appear? Ta-da! I do magic. Watch. I sing. Oh. I rap. Who let the dogs out? Hoo, 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 hoo. Hey guys, do you know a pirate song? Sixteen yeah. men on a dead man's chest. Ho 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 and a bottle of rum. Sixteen men on a dead man's chest. Ho 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 and a bottle of rum. Sixteen men on a dead man's chest. Ho 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 and a bottle of rum. Sixteen men on a dead man's chest. Ho 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 and a bottle of rum. Sixteen men on a dead man's chest. Ho 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 and a bottle of rum. Sixteen men on a dead man's chest. Ho 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 and a bottle of rum. Ho 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 and a bottle of rum. Hello, I'm Charles Foley, and I'll be singing and taking chances by Celine Dion. Don't know much about your life. Don't know much about your world, but don't want to be alone tonight on this planet they call Earth. You don't know about my past. I don't have a future figured out And maybe this is going too fast And maybe it's not meant to last But what is it taking chances? What do you say to jumping off the edge? Never knowing if there's solid ground below Or hand to hold or how to pay What do you say? What do you say? I just want to start again Maybe you could show me how to try Maybe you could take me in Somewhere underneath your skin What do you say it's taking chances? What do you say it's jumping off the edge? Never knowing if there's solid ground below or hand to hold or how to pay what do you say what do you say don't know much about your life and don't know much about your world Hi, I'm Kinshasa, and you're watching The Magic Box. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Have I got a trick for you? I am going to make this egg disappear in this bag. And, of course, I have my egg in my bag. Now. When I said, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to make this egg disappear, watch. Just kidding. I actually just put the, the, um, egg, just turn the bag around like this. So, let me just reach in here and take that egg. This time, maybe you will believe me this time. Oh, wait, <clears throat> there. Okay, now it's right my arm. Now, I made it gone. Just kidding. It's under my arm. See? Oh, you stealing me. It's the other one. No egg. Let me just grab that right there. There's the egg. And one more thing. You like scrambled eggs? Watch. Wait. Nope. Egg. This isn't good. Let's take that. 
Well, excuse me, I can never get to save the scramble. Oh well. <laughs> Did I exactly trick you? Sailor just come from Hong Kong to me way. I blow the man down. If you give me some silver, I'll sing you a song. Oh, give me some time to blow the man down. Behind the eight ball, I first take my time to be way. I blow the man down. Behind the eight ball, he has wasted his prime. Oh, give him some time to blow the man down. Wise guy, huh? Tinkers and tailors and soldiers and all. Huh? To me way. I blow the man down. Begins get dressed. We're going to have company. I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. You will? And you like it. All right, I will. But I won't like it. the decoy. Shut up, you brat.
I bet you. But how can we take it with us? <laughs> Listen to my mother. But gosh, how can we get home? Worry, 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 worry. I got it. watching the magic box and these are my granddaughters oh <laughs> grab the wall don't go anywhere <laughs> hi i'm my johnny you're watching the magic box don't go anywhere we'll be right back well that's another episode there's <laughs> Himself, all right. <laughs> that, 
not the doors open. So uh, <laughs> that one went off too hard. I'm telling uh, you, knock the doors open. Isn't that something? Man, what are they little, yeah, little, 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 little shut earlier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Was open. I was like, okay. Uh, now, now let's get this because my take is gone. I literally got that part in. All right, take two. Take two. <laughs> All right, say goodbye. Take okay. two. All right. Hey, welcome to the no, magic. No, I'm saying goodbye. Always uh, say goodbye. Right. <laughs> okay. Well, that was another episode of the Magic Box. Calculator Magic Made Easy. You can get the book on calculatormagicbook.com. Go to calculator magicbook.com and you can secure a copy of my book Calculator Magic Made Easy by John Carrington. This is the Magic Box. My granddaughters are here. Everybody, let's wave bye bye to all my friends and don't, don't forget to revisit the Magic Box where you learn and have fun and it's magical. Bye-bye. Bye. So come aboard USS Constellation and while you're here in Baltimore be sure to visit these other attractions of the Chesapeake Bay Gateways Network. The Baltimore Visitor Center, a good place to start your tour of this historic city and region. The National Aquarium on Pier 3 near the USS Constellation Museum. The Lightship Chesapeake and Seven Foot Knoll Lighthouse, both part of the Baltimore Maritime Museum. The Frederick Douglass Isaac Myers Maritime Park and Museum, Fort McHenry National Monument where the people of Baltimore valiantly defended the city from the British during the War of 1812, and Baltimore's own Francis Scott Key wrote our national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. So welcome aboard USS Constellation and enjoy your visit to the historic sites of the Chesapeake Bay Gateways Network. <laughs>